the Mecca CFO Academy is basically incorporated in New Jersey right now. And to understand what is the value proposition of this business, it's basically focused on high quality executive education, focusing on finance professionals. So this is not another training company. So as you know that in uh, Middle East and Pakistan and India, there is a mushroom growth of training companies and they are offering every day new programs, one day, two day, five day trainings. It's very different model for Mecca CEO Academy. I don't compete with those training companies or training institutions. I compete with Ivy Leagues. My competitors are Harvard, Columbia, Stanford, Warden. And that is how I call it high quality. Now, my niche is finance professional because I spend my life in finance function and major part of that as CFO, I understand all those challenges and problems and opportunities. So I think I really qualify very well to provide support and help to finance professionals in their journey of career development. My organization is a social organization with 30,000 professionals connected to it around the world. And many of you are connected and many of you are involved in several initiatives. It's not about the training and coaching. Once you join Mecca of Academy, you become part of it because you join a large community of finance professionals wherever you are. We have uh, members from India, Pakistan, uh, Asia Pacific, Middle East, of course, Africa region, North America, Canada, USA, Brazil. So it's a community-based social organization focusing on providing executive education. And although we compete with Harvard, Columbia, and Warden, of course, we don't charge that level of fee. So it's very affordable. And there are many, many case studies, many people who attended Mecca CFO Academy programs, and they also attended Harvard, Columbia, Wharton, and they basically provide the evidence that they learn more or better contents or better teaching in Mecca CFO Academy than in Harvard, Columbia. So this is not my claim. This is the claim by the participants and attendees who have experienced both. So just to give you an idea that what type of business I'm running right now. It's mainly online model. But it's not like Udemy that you would go and buy courses and you have to do on your own. It's blended. Blended means that, yes, there are online contents, but it also blended by the live session online. We also try to complement with the in-person sessions. So we have started a new trend like having Mecca Summit Strategy Summit in Dubai and New York. So last two years, we are having an in-person event for our Mecca alumni in Dubai. And lately, two weeks ago, we had the same type of event in New York. So this is a place, these summits are the place and opportunity for the Mecca students to come together and meet each other and really chat and talk and develop the network for the long term. So that's also very unique. No other training company offer those things. And our teachings are really not traditional because most of you are qualified professional accountants. I don't need to teach any further accounting to you, right? I'm not auditing. And even if you need it, there are a lot of other institutions available. We try to provide you what is unique, what is in demand. So main focus in my case, you forget me, is about leadership and strategy. But lately, we also started the modules and courses related to emerging technologies because that's an increasing requirement for senior finance professionals who really have an understanding of those. And going forward, whatever comes necessary for the growing finance professionals, we try to bring those topics. So also from a content point of view, it's very, very different. And it's, a, as I said, it's a global community of practitioners. Uh, we have CFOs, finance directors, chief accountant, all those people are, I call them students, but they are actually executives, but they are in the learning stream. So uh, they are part of Mecca CFO Academy. And as I said that, whether they have attended uh, pro one program or two programs, some of them have attended all the programs so far, but just to explain you that this is the model. Current problem is executive education. Lack of quality providers. So except for the Ivy Leagues like Wharton, Harvard, Columbia, the general training companies are really are not really very talented or qualified trainers available. They offer standalone courses. You go to a training for two days, three days, and that's it. Hit and run. You go there five days, learn something and back. There is no follow up. There is no connection with other learning and development. Lack of industry professionals, which means they are professional trainers. If someone is saying that this is a CFO development course and the course is being taught by a professor who has never been a CFO or even a trainer who has never worked in a senior level position in corporate, what could they teach you except the theory? 
Ivy Leagues are ex exorbitantly costly or expensive. Not everybody could afford it. So yes, they do have some value, especially their brand, but not everybody could afford that. And corporates today are reluctant to invest in training. So even many of you want to really go to the training, there are no budgets available. And most professionals too busy. They don't have the time to really go to the training outside work. And lack of continuity, as I said, that hit and run type of trainings do not really provide any value. So look at these problems. That was my starting point. And I say, okay, if these are the problems, I could probably offer a solution. And solution is lifelong learning model. What is that model? It needs to be integrated into your day-to-day -day schedule. So you don't have time, most of you, leaving your work behind even for one day, you cannot go and really attend those trainings. So that's one thing. It has to be integrated in daily schedules. A small digestible doses in the form of video tutorials, articles, blogs, webinars, short coaching, mentoring session. So you don't have to really reserve three, four, five days, but every day you find 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and you are learning something, right? That's another requirement of the lifelong learning model. Contents must be aligned with your career progress and development. You don't have time to really go back and do PhD in theories. You need something, your time is very expensive, you need something which you could learn today and apply today at your work. And to be involved with an interactive peer group. So it's not running alone. You have to have a group of people like-minded who have the similar objectives, who are at the similar level of professional development and you work with them for a longer period of time. So this should be the ideal model. And also my suggestion is that in your learning framework, you also include some people, junior people, who you could mentor or coach them. So that would be a perfect model of learning because you learn best when you learn to teach other people. So Maka of Academy, just to explain the model, the mission for me or for my organization is transforming careers. So it's not about one training program. It's really involving you and help you transforming your career, whatever your objectives are. My value proposition is threefold. First of all, it's high quality executive education, matchable or even better than Harvard Columbia Warden. It's community-based, it's not something isolated training. You become part of a community. When you join a program, you have a group of people continuing with you even after the program is finished. And this available on an affordable cost, much, much lower than Ivy League. So for those mid-career senior level finance professionals who are looking to develop their career journey, this becomes very valuable proposition. It's online blended model. So online does not require you to travel or really spend time outside your work schedule. Usually we do the live sessions on weekends. So it does not affect your work schedule, which means that you could watch the online videos on your own schedule whenever you have some time. And for the live session, you find some time on the weekend. Works very well. We only pick contemporary topics. As I said, the strategy leadership is one. And we recently started with the technology modules, which is very uh, much needed. In, uh, I'm planning to do some specialty programs like advanced treasury, advanced merger and acquisition, those type of things, but not the ordinary things taught by the ordinary trading companies. And it's a global community, growing global community once you join the program, you become part of that network, the people in USA, North America, Middle East, Asia Pacific, India, Pakistan, you connect with them and keep learning and keep networking because that's an ongoing process. I call this a blue ocean model. In the blue ocean strategy, that you look at a successful model, for example, Amazon or Walmart, and you see what should I change to create more value for my target customers. You can add certain factors, you can eliminate certain factors, you can raise certain features, and you can create new features. So again, based on my model, look at that. What we did in the training, executive education problem, to solve it, we offered a solution, but differently, uniquely different. What we did, we eliminated classroom, not required. We eliminated teachers and professors. We eliminated high cost of executive education. We eliminated any requirement of travel or commute. We eliminated any requirement for off days, right? That looks good. At the same time, we reduce fixed schedules. So if there are certain schedules set for your live session and some people cannot attend, well, there is a recording available. There is a replay available you can go through. 
So it's still manageable. There is no requirement to go through voluminous textbook as required in MBA programs. I teach the same quality of business education without those voluminous textbook. We also don't use lengthy case studies as used by business schools. We do have case studies, but it's very short and concise, which do, does not take much time, but give you the same level of insight into the business things. What we did on the, on the create side, we create a practical curriculum. If you have a chance to look at the curriculum, it's all very practical. Anything you learn in leadership strategy, you could apply next day at your work. You work in a peer study group. There are at least three, four, five people like you, and you are working through group communication online or offline, and which supports each other. It's a long-term professional network. You become part of that network, which is 170 people right now from different countries. And we also group give you group assignments. You work together, which helps you to polish your leadership skills. What we raise, we raise is increases the flexibility of schedules. We increase this quality of learning. We also include the presentation skills. So you are required in the live session to make a presentation live to other people as well as to me. And we try to polish your skills on that part. Student engagement is very high and student tracking. I know what videos you have watched, what videos you did not, how much time did you spend? So we can customize the requirement to different students. And this is the is same thing in a, in a strategic canvas, we call it. So in a chart form, if you look at the features listed here, like classroom, the below is Makkah Academy. Blue line or blue dots are for Makkah and red for any other training institution. So classroom, we don't have it. Higher cost of learning, we don't have it. Travel not required, off days not required. So in all these four features, we are much lower. But then suddenly, quality of learning is much higher. Student tracking is much higher. Student engagement is much higher. Practical syllabus, peer study group, group assignment, etc., are also very high here. I got a new role while attending the Mecca CFO program. I got a C-suit role as a CFO. So even before getting to the end of the program, I actually got my return on investment. Very profound. The strategy is the best part. And uh, of course, uh, uh, Salim Sufi Saab, he has uh, so much of experience and he gave the practical examples. He has given the Amazon, Google, it's a practical examples he has given. He should, he has taken us through the process so that what I did after this implementation is immediately I went and implemented the balance scorecard. So that helped a lot. Even my owners also appreciated. Since I joined Mecca CFO Academy, so it has helped me grow professionally and I'm uh, seen as a different person in, within my own organization as well. So after joining this program, I think I big from financial controller, they've moved me to a regional commercial manager role because of that different strategic thinking because uh, it makes difference when you are really only crunching the numbers and when you become a different strategic partner to your organization. So that had really helped me to move within the organization.